All right, let's jump right into it. We're testing out Tesla FSD version 12.3.4. We're starting off by testing the auto park feature in a busy narrow street, as you can see. Uh, we're pulling up into this uh, spot and it was a pretty tight spot. I was very impressed with how it did, especially with all the cars passing by, as well as the people walking around. It did very well. As you can see, it is a little slow, and I put up the visualization here so you can have a better look at where it parks itself in between the two cars. I thought it did excellent. All right, moving on. Just a heads up, but we will be skipping some of the more boring parts in the drive, like any red lights, stop signs, if it's highway traffic where it's just going in a straight line and nothing happens, we'll just be skipping through that. We're coming up to a spot where the car makes a minor mistake. For example, this sign right here says to stop for pedestrians at the crosswalk, and there is a pedestrian there, however, they're not crossing. As you can see, that person with the dog on the left, they're walking straight. So the car came to a full stop, and that was an error, but nothing unsafe. I didn't tap the accelerator, I was just wondering why we had stopped, and then I noticed the person in the sign on the left. Keep an eye on the car in front of us, it is something really cool is about to happen. The car seems to be dropping somebody off, and so they're going to be parking in the middle of the lane like so, but the car very decisively just goes around it. It was very smooth and very confident feeling, and I was very pleased with it. Coming up ahead, we see another car dropping somebody else off, and they're also parked in the middle of the lane. In the visualization in the top left corner, you can see that the car was a little more hesitant this time. But overall, it did really good when it finally decided to. It was uh, smooth and quick, although at first, a little hesitant. I really appreciate the amount of space that the car gives to people that are trying to cross. As we saw at the beginning of the video, sometimes it will slow down or even come to a complete stop when it doesn't need to, but I'd rather it do that than be extra bold around people that are uh, walking on the street. At this point, we're going to be uh, engaging a supervised full self-driving from a parked position, and I really like how I did. Um, however, the car does need um, more room than you think in order for it to uh, start from a parked position. So I always like to back up the car a little bit more than where it likes to park itself. Otherwise, if it doesn't think it has enough space to make the turn, it just won't go. Okay, we're going to be jumping forward to an important part of the drive where I feel like it made a pretty annoying mistake. Take a look. So we just came off of an on-ramp and we are merging onto traffic. I put a visualization in the top left corner and the car just would not get up to speed on its own. So I had to tap the accelerator. I know it's a minor thing, but things like getting up to speed to go with the flow of traffic is something that I sometimes still feel like the car misses. Um, that's just been my experience with it. I'd say though, about seven out of 10 times, it does how it should. This time, it did not. And I'm glad I got it on video. All right, well, everything after this is pretty much just highway driving. Um, nothing happens. It just goes as it should. And let's not disregard that. I mean, that is a wonderful feature that the car can do. 
uh, now that it is up to speed, it's keeping up with the flow of traffic. It's uh, moving into the proper lane for me. All I have to do is supervise. So yes, it still makes some mistakes, but those mistakes are more few and far between and very minor now, but definitely still pay attention. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. It's a small channel and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, please share the video with someone that doesn't know anything about Tesla's full self-driving. I hope you enjoyed it and there will be more videos coming out soon. Thanks.